good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you might be watching. This time I'd like to show you how to use the Excel payment function, abbreviated to PMT. Some people would say that's an unfortunate abbreviation, but that's another story, of course. And we're going to look at how to calculate a monthly repayment for a mortgage, a personal loan, or a vehicle lease. Now I've filled in at this stage the data. I'm assuming that these are interest rates were around about market at the moment. And to calculate the uh, repayments, the monthly repayments on each of these uh, finance uh, types, I'm going to first of all handle the mortgage by clicking in the cell in which I want the answer. Then I go up and click on the insert function button and what that does that opens the insert function window. Now the function that I want to use the PMT function is one of the financial functions it's in the financial category here so I'm going to scroll down to the P's until I come to the PMT that one there and when I click on PMT I see that it will calculate the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. There are five arguments. The rate, the number of periods, the present value, that is how much do I want to borrow. Is there a future value for the mortgage? That is, do I want to refinance a lump sum at the end? And when do I want to make my repayments? Will I be monthly in arrears or monthly in advance? So let's see how it works. Having chosen the function, I now click OK and up pops the function arguments dialog box. It says which cell holds the rate. Well, that's in C7. But that's an annual rate. I want a monthly repayment, so I have to convert the uh, rate to, an a to a monthly rate by dividing by 12. The next line, what is the number of periods? Well, that's in cell C8, but I want a monthly repayment, but I'm showing the term in years there, so I've got to convert the years to months by multiplying by 12. The next cell, how much do I want to borrow? That's quite simply in C9. The future value, I'm going to leave zero by default because I want to pay the amount off in full. If I wanted to refinance, say, $50,000 at the end, then I would enter that cell into there by clicking on the cell and then ent entering an amount. Do I want to pay in advance or in arrears? Now, most mortgage repayments are paid at the end of each month, so I'm going to leave that zero by default. And now when I click OK, it says that the monthly repayment is $1,432.86 for a loan at 6% over 20 years and the loan amount of $200,000. If you don't want to see that repayment in red, then what you can do is to click after the equal sign up here in the formula bar and type ABS, short for absolute, followed by a bracket with another bracket at the end to balance the brackets. And when I press enter, it simply removes the sign. Excel still still treating that as a negative number, but it looks like a positive number. With the personal loan, I'm going to click in the monthly repayment uh, box down here. Same procedure. I click the insert function dialog box. Go down to the payment function, the PMT. That one there. Click OK. And it says which cell has the rate. Well, it's that cell. I have to divide by 12 if I want to convert an annual rate to a monthly rate. The number of periods, I want to borrow over four years, so I multiply that cell by 12. And how much do I want to borrow? $12,000, and now I click OK. Again, I'll click after the equal sign, type ABS for absolute, removes the sign, the negative sign. Open a bracket, balance the bracket at the end, and press Enter. $276.35. Finally, the vehicle lease. Let's have a look at this one because I'm seeing an annual rate of 5%. I want to buy a $35,000 car over five years lease repayments with the residual value 
of seven percent. Uh, sorry, a residual value of seven thousand dollars. So I go through the same procedure here, with one small exception that we'll see. Insert function. I'm in the financial category. I go down to PMT down there. Click OK. Same procedure. Which cell has the rate? It's that cell. Divide by 12. Which cell has the number of periods? It's that cell. Multiply by 12 to compare apples and apples again. Monthly repayment required. Therefore, convert the number of periods from years to months. How much is the car worth? Well, say a $35,000 car. The future value. That is the residual value. It's in that cell. That's the amount I have to refinance at the end, either by paying the financier $7,000 or refinancing over a further period. But the type this time, um, which is in that cell, I'm going to make a 1. So the type in K11 is 1. OK, there are my arguments. Now if I click OK, there's my repayment. Again, I'll convert it to an absolute uh, number. Close the bracket. Press Enter. And there is my repayment. Now, a couple of notes here. The examples don't allow for fees, stamp duty or other charges. They're designed to give you a very close approximation of the repayments. They'll be very, very close. Interest rates and terms are for illustration purposes only. Of course, it depends on the financial conditions at the time, uh, which country you're in, etc. But the calculation uh, works irrespective of the country, given the uh, interest rate, the term in years and the amount that you wish to borrow. So nothing difficult about it. Um, you can use this to check that uh, uh, the rates are, or the monthly repayments are whatever they might be before you go and do the deal. So you know that you're not being held to ransom by a lender. Hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and illustration. Uh, please um, uh, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already. Uh, any comments would be greatly appreciated and if you found this handy don't forget to click the thumbs up for like. Thank you so much for watching.